pediatric cardiac surgery or heart surgery in children or surgical procedures which are done in the heart of a child who are born with congenital defects in other terms these children are born with birth defects in the heart or surrounding blood tubes coming from the heart that we try to correct them by performing various surgical procedures in such a way that these children can go on to get into a normal life Pediatric cardiac surgery field is a very vast field. Children are born with various birth defects in the heart. Some of them are simple and some of them are complex. The commonest defects include the connections or the communications between two sides of the heart. We know that the heart has got four chambers. Two of them receive blood and two of them pump blood. On the right side, the blood is pumped into the lungs. On the left side, the blood is pumped into the body. The communications exist in some form between the two chambers either as an atrial septal defect or between the receiving chambers of the heart or as a ventricular septal defect otherwise called the communication between the two pumping chambers of the heart or a PDA or a patent ductus arteriosus. These are the common defects that need surgery to correct the defects in children. The birth defects or the congenital defects in the heart are a vast group of disorders. Some of them are simple, some of them are complex. The simple defects are, we call them simple because they are a straightforward communication defects between the two sides of the heart. On the right side which pump blood into the lungs and on the left side which pump blood into the body. The communications can be either an atrial septal defect or a ventricular septal defect or a PDA. Surgery is performed to correct them either using a patch or closing them directly or the commonest surgeries that we perform in our everyday life. As we know, the children born with congenital defects or the defects which exist from their day one of life, they are born with the defects. Some of the defects do manifest almost instantaneously while some of the defects do cause trouble while the child continues to grow later in life. It's very important to understand and assess the physiology in the child and offer surgical correction at a very appropriate age. Having said this, majority of the times we tend to correct them quite early in life and most of our surgeries are done in children less than one year age. Which also means it's very very important to look after these babies before surgery, during surgery and after surgery. These surgeries are quite major, lasting for few hours for each single procedure that we perform. That means we have to look after the child in such a way that the child can return back to normal life once they recover from surgery. Majority of the birth defects or the congenital defects in the heart are correctable by surgical procedures. Whether it is simple or complex, the surgery has evolved over time in the last 40 years or so. And the technology has advanced so much that we are provided with almost every information that we need in terms of understanding these defects. With this, I would wish to state that the prognosis for a child who has gone through even a major cardiac surgery is very good to excellent to lead a normal life. Some of our children have gone on to become an excellent sports person, great academician, and they lead a normal life into adult and very late years in life. That means we try to get them back into a normal lifespan throughout their life. Surgery is really rewarding in these individuals.